In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to block ads in Safari on a Mac. So this is free, and this should block ads on most websites, including YouTube.com. Um, this is for Safari only, not any apps. So anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, we'll get into Safari, obviously. Tap the, or click the Safari in the top left bar. Then you'll want to go down to Safari Extensions. Click that. It'll bring up the App Store. And there's a page um, all about um, Safari Extensions. So we're going to go to Top Free Apps. We're going to push See All. Um, scroll down to ad guard for safari this is 4.6 star rated has 5.4k ratings and reviews and it is free push git install and then you may be required to put in a password or um, your fingerprint I have also done other ways of blocking ads in safari on a Mac uh, you can watch those videos I'll um, put the videos in the end screen or something but this is another method of blocking ads in Safari. You can also use Adblock Plus, you can also use Adblock by Betafish. There are so there are multiple options is the point. AdGuard will help you with blocking ads as well as privacy related things. It claims to be faster at loading pages and less traffic it is consumed if you use this. So there are multiple good things about this extension, not just blocking ads. Okay, so now we have downloaded it. Now let's um, click open. And here it tells you what you need to do. So go to Safari and open preferences. The shortcut for that is the command comma function. So here it is. And you'll just want to check every single one. Each one may have to do with something specific like privacy, um, general, social, etc. So we've got those all turned on. Let's go back to the app. And it knows we've um, done it. So here is the various settings. Um, allow search ads and the self-promotion of websites. Nope, I don't want that on. Leave various settings on and off that you want. You can do various filters like annoyances, social widgets, security, other. Ad blocking and privacy are automatically on but you can turn those other ones as well. I'm just going to leave it like it is and go test it out. Okay, so the first website I'm going to be testing out is YouTube. That is the most popular place to block ads, and they let you do it. So so over here is the button for AdGuard for Safari. If you click it, um, you can turn on AdGuard to change the settings. There's a settings button which opens up AdGuard, the app, but you don't need to do that unless you want to change settings. Let's try playing a random video. I'm going to be searching for soccer. Um, let's click this one. And there was no ad at the beginning and as you see there are no yellow bars throughout this so that means there's no ads. There's no ad up here and there are no ads down here. So this proves that the ad blocker works. Most videos that have um, a lot of subscribers will have ads on the video so it most likely does have ads so that adds assurance to us that this does work um, let's try a news website let's go to the verge as you see there are no ads on this page there are no ads along the sides let's click a specific article to see if there's any ads in this. Now there's this. It kind of looks like an ad, but it's by Vox. I think this is a different kind of ad, or it's by the site owners. It's not like a traditional ad. No ads on the side or in the article. So that's awesome. This one's a little bit different because it's by Vox Media. So the site's promoting itself, basically. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope this proved to you that this ad blocker does work. I hope this works well for you. If you like this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you found this helpful. And please comment if you have any questions. And I'll try to answer them if I can. 
Thanks, and have a good rest of your day, guys. Goodbye.